one note training video, we'll go through notebooks, tabs and notes, writing a note, adding a tick box, screen clippings and dragging and dropping. You are currently in your notebook. By clicking your name here on the top left hand corner of your screen, a drop down menu will appear with all the notebooks which are available to you. You can share your notebook with other people in your team and they can do the same with you. Up here are your tabs. You can add a new tab by clicking the addition sign. A new section will appear and you have the ability to rename it to whatever you like. By right clicking on the section or tab, you can also change the section colour, which is very useful if you like to colour code. Within a tab, on the right hand side you have your pages. You can add multiple pages within each tab. To rename your pages, simply click them. This is a great way of organising your OneNote. There are many ways for you to add notes. The easiest way to add a note is if you click anywhere in the white space and start typing. Also if you highlight the text and right click, you can change the format of the text. You can move it around your OneNote and it will snap to a grid. If you'd prefer to write your notes with a pen or using your mouse, press draw. You can change your brush, the thickness of your brush and the colour. The eraser tool is useful if you make a mistake. Remember to click type when you're done drawing. Tick boxes are very useful when creating a to-do list on OneNote. To create a tick box, click on your OneNote and press Ctrl-1. Once you've completed that task, either press Ctrl-1 again to fill it with a tick, or you can manually tick it with your mouse. To delete the box, either press Ctrl-1 again, or highlight it and press backspace. Screen clipping is a very useful way for you to capture whatever is on your screen and bring it into OneNote. To clip a section of your screen, click Windows, Shift and S. To select what you want to clip, hold down your mouse and drag it across your screen. A box should now appear. This is where you select the location that you would like to place that screen grab within your OneNote. Select your notebook to open it. If you click a tab within your notebook and press Send to Selected Location, your screen clipping will open in its own page within that tab, like so. Now if you were to open your notebook, and don't just select the tab, but open it and select a page within the tab, the screen clipping will be sent to that specific page. You can drag and drop emails and attachments from emails into your OneNote, so it's easily available to you. First, open Outlook and select the email. Start by dragging the attachment in the email into your OneNote. A pop-up box will appear. You can attach it as a file which creates a clickable icon that will open when you double-click it. Or you can insert it as a printout, which will copy the document into your OneNote so that you can see it. This option also attaches the clickable icon above it. You can also copy over the entire email by dragging it from your Outlook to your OneNote. The same pop-up box will now appear, giving you the option to either attach it as a file or a printout. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll be going through the standard controls, how to add and remove spaces, maths and how to search. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.